What's up, Zombie Slayers? Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is Cage848, and welcome back to Seven Days to Die. So I did what I said I was going to do. I went out and wrenched a bunch of vehicles. I also wrenched streetlights, okay? You see that right there at the top? There was a streetlight there, and I wrenched them. There was a few around me. Um, if I see one when I'm out and about, I'll show you what they look like. But the reason I wrenched the streetlights is because they give steel. Now, I don't know if I have the 60 steel I need, but let's just take a look really quick. Uh, no, 57. All right, I'll probably go out and wrench a few more because I'm going to need 60 steel for the uh, tactical assault rifle. Or I could buy this steel from the trader. But I kind of want to show you how to get it from the streetlights. Um, oh, yeah. Also, because I was wrenching so much, I did put another point in perception and then salvage operations. You only need two in perception to get scavenger. So I was like, yeah, you know what? I think that seems like a good idea. All right, and this is what I walked out with. Uh, you know, a bunch of engines, a bunch of batteries. Seem to get a decent amount of engines. Some people are telling me, like, scrap your engines for, uh, you know, uh, for uh, mechanical parts. And I'm like, you're crazy. Stop talking crazy. Uh, man, I don't know. Maybe it's not Maybe it's not so crazy because uh, there seem to be a lot more engines than there used to be. Uh, let's get some more wood in here really quickly. What are we looking at? Six minutes. There we go. 640 sounds good. And I also got a decent amount of gas. My my vehicle is now full and I have 1,380 gas. And apparently I can make gas. So I got to get some oil shale. I got to get a chemistry station. I got a lot of stuff I need to do. I mean, let's just let's just call it what it is. I got a lot of work ahead of me. All right. So um, I showed you all the stuff I did, wrenching the cars. I put more points in the salvage operation. I have a little list here, a little checklist, okay? Uh, and the next thing I would like to do is scrap the extra armor I have. Now, and it, you know, I have a ton of armor. And you're probably like, Cage, you're never going to use that armor, just scrap it. Yeah, I'm kind of a collector. I'm going to collect it, even if I don't need it. But these right here are doubles. And the reason you want to scrap armor is because you get these armor parts for it. So, here we go. I guess I'll scrap some in the uh, workbench as well, just to kind of move it along a little bit. Uh, oh, you know what? I don't even think I care about that. I'll just throw them away. Scrap and scrap. And then these, yeah, I guess I'll scrap them. I'll probably scrap. I mean, I don't know. I could. I might be able to use, like, grass and stuff for something. And then I don't have to go out and, like, get it myself. Actually, what do you need grass for? Let's take a look. Um, oh, yeah. I should probably make another bedroll. Oh, wait. Do I have to? I think I have one down here. This is not my... This is not the bedroll that's active, though. Because when I went to one of the POIs, I put down a bedroll over there. So let's replace this bedroll. Oh, yeah. Oh, it won't let me sleep underneath there. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. That's kind of weird. Anyway, yeah, let's just go ahead and scrap these. And let's see what else you need grass for. I thought you needed it for something. Uh, hay bale, primitive bow, primitive glove. So a bunch of primitive stuff. I thought there's like, you can make cloth. Oh yeah, if you, if you unlock this, you can make cloth fragments with it. So that, that could be pretty helpful down the line. All right, what else do I want to talk about? Okay, so now for the, uh, the main event, we need to talk about armor. I found this on the internet. I don't know how accurate it is, but um, I'm assuming it's accurate. If it's inaccurate, uh, you know, let me know in the comments. Also, if you disagree with any of my assessments here of armor or any of what I'm looking for, what I'm not looking for, uh, feel free to let me know in the comments. Just please uh, be respectful. You know, we all have our own ways of playing, so there's no wrong or right. There's just the way people like to play. All right, so number one, I don't want to wear light armor. I really don't, and I kind of don't want to wear medium armor. I want to go heavy. Okay, so what I'm looking for here is I'm looking in the heavy armor for my set. Now, I personally think the set bonuses are really, really weak, like really weak. Like, how do you have a loot stage uh, set bonus that's the same from one item? You could wear the rogue hood and get the loot stage bonus that's the full set. Like, you'd have to wear four items to get it. Like, things like that just don't make any sense to me. Um, I like the rogue's hood, but I also don't like light armor. I guess the idea is maybe this is medium armor. So if you like heavier armor, maybe this would be a better idea. I don't know. It feels kind of weak to me, to be perfectly honest. Now, I do like crit resistance. And from what I understand, the way crit resistance works is, you know, all those debuffs you get, you know, where you're bleeding and you're all, all these kind of debuffs. I think that's going to help with that. And that is that I really like. So I guess the bonus here in the light armor isn't too bad. Uh, so that's, you know, it's, uh, I still feel like it's weak, but it's not, it's not that, I think you get that same bonus down here somewhere, but anyway, um, yeah, so there's a loot stage bonus that we talked about that enemy search, um, seems like an okay one, but it is, what is noise? 100%. Yeah. You know what? That enemy search one's pretty good. Yeah. You know what? That one's an okay one. Uh, if I was going to play a sneak build, I would get the sneak damage, sneak effectiveness, 
attack speed with knife and pistol, the noise. Eh, this is the one set bonus I think is worth it. Although it leads me to wonder, what is the rogue set for? Because this is kind of like noise, crouch, speed. If you're not doing it, if you're, if, if you are doing a sneak build, you're going to use assassin. So what the, what's the point of having this on there for? Loot stage I like. Um, pick speed, break, less break chance, meh. F uh, fall distance, meh. Cash dukes and loot, that's pretty okay, I guess. I'm not really sure what the rogue set is for. Um, I think tool degradation is an absolutely abhorrent stat. Uh, terrible. And to have it as a bonus is, like, weird. If I'm wrong, like, I feel like I'm missing something with this one. Because that seems really, really odd. Um, the tool degradation one seems really bad. Here's a crit, here's a crit resist plus for the Raider armor. If you are just, if you just want to go out and bash faces, I think the Raider armor might be the best armor. You've got stun resist, you've got crit heal, melee damage, fall distance, and crit resist. Um, now I'm not going to look at the, look at the purple because you know, that's going to be, the legendary is going to be hard to get. So I'm looking at blue 40% crit resist. That seems like a really good set right there. Not going to lie. Now, I'm, I might do that set. I might not. I think what I'm going to do right now, though, is I'm going to go Nomad. For Actually, let's start with the head. What am I going to do with that? What am I going to do for the head? My my first instance was to do the Rogue set because I love the loot stage, but I'm not wearing light armor. Well, I will be wearing light armor. We'll get to that in a moment, but I don't want two pieces of light armor. So I'm going to go with the Stun Resist for the Raider Helmet. All right. The outfit slot, this is a no-brainer. It's either Backpack Slots or Crit Heal. And I'm going to go with the backpack slot. Man, I might put together a Raider set as well. Not today. Not today, but I'm, I'm looking forward. I don't know, man. That Raider set's really speaking to me. But I'm going to go with the backpack slots uh, for now. And for gloves, I mean, this is a tough one, dude. The Preacher set plus damage to all zombies. You get it to blue. You're talking 50% damage increase to zombies. That is in freaking sane. Best in slot gloves. The only thing I don't like about it is it's light armor. Now, check this out. The Raider set has melee damage. Now, this will be better if you're using guns, but guns already seem to do a good amount of damage. You know, that Raider set is really good. I mean, <laughs> I'm going to stay away from it for now, but I'm going to keep my eye on that for sure. I'm going to go with the Preacher Gloves. I'm going to deal with the light armor in one spot, and I'm going to go with that plus damage to, to zombies uh, with guns, with melee, with the whole thing. All right, right here, this biker stamina, stamina usage with melee. I was thinking about that as a Horde Knight. Set piece, or not a set piece, but a Horde Knight boots might be pretty good because I'm giving up run speed, but on Horde Knight, hopefully, I don't have to worry about run speed. <laughs> if I have to worry about run speed on Horde Knight, I've got bigger problems. So, um, see, I'm thinking about the biker uh, boots with the stamina usage, like a melee more uh, would be pretty good because my Horde Knight, I was running out of stamina all the time. But my normal ones will be Nomad for the run speed. Fall distance is pretty good, but run speed is, is uh, better. And um, for the bonus, I'm not going to get a bonus, so it doesn't really matter. So um, we're going with the Raider helmet, the Nomad outfit, the Preacher gloves, and the Nomad boots. Now, before I do any of that, let's go out and find one of these light things. I still need three more steel. Oh, there's one. And I want you guys to see what they look like. So in your game, you can get them as well. Yeah, you just kind of nerd pull up here. I think Salvage Operations 2 is kind of like like a staple for any build, honestly. Uh, just for two points. Well, uh, actually, it would take one point for the first one. For three points, you can get two points into Salvage Operations. I think that's a good... I think that's good. I think that's good. This stuff is really important. So, and now this is going to give you one steal. That will be enough. They always give you at least one steal. Sometimes they'll give you two, but they'll always give you at least one. Oh, there we go, two. Oh, three. Wow. All right. Well, salvage operations. Because I was getting one or two. And in there, I got three. That did not happen before salvage operations, too. So that is awesome, indeed. Awesome sauce. All right. We got to start that tactical assault rifle. Uh, let's come in here and grab these. And track. All right. So duct tape. Yeah, we should have all that. It shouldn't be a problem. Um, except for the fact that I don't see that, man. This is, uh, too much stuff in there. It's hurting my brain. All right, there we go. We need duct tape for We probably will. You know what? Let's just take that. Let's take that. And let's take some cloth, because we're probably going to need more duct tape. Um, quite a bit more. And that's good. We need to steal. Oh, 62. All right. There you go. 
It's because I got that extra. Um, what else am I looking for? Yeah, the gun parts. Uh, where are they? They're not in there. Do I keep them in here? <laughs> I'm doing a new inventory system uh, this season, so it's taking a little bit of getting used to, but that's all right. Now, let's double check and make sure we're not close to the next one. Um, machine guns. Five books. It's a decent amount of books, honestly. All right, so yeah, go ahead and craft that. Because we got to craft it at some point. You can't just keep waiting. Oh, speaking of books, I did get some books while I was out. All right, so let's just grab all these books. And yeah, I grabbed these books from things like mailboxes and vehicles. When I was looting the vehicles before I was wrenching them. Before I started recording. All right, and do that. And do that. And read. 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 Uh, craft the fireman's axe modification. 25% more damage to blocks. But, oh, okay. So, yeah. So, it's good for um for what it should be used for. And that's mining wood. All right. Cool. So, how far do we get on the um on the machine guns? Probably, what, what do we need? 40, 40, yeah. We're still five away. Yeah, that's, that's fine. That's fine. I just, you know, you just keep waiting. You're never going to make what you need to make. You know, I, I need that tactical assault rifle. Okay. So, now we're going to make armor, and I'm going to need this, and this, and this, oops, not that, and this, and we are going to make the armor crafting kits. How many do I want to make? Well, only seven? Oh, it's because I freaking duct tape. Okay, hold on. Duct tape. So I can make more glue in the campfire, but is it cheaper to make it in the chemistry station? Is it even cheaper than that in the chemistry station? Honestly, it probably doesn't really matter. I just feel like I'm going to need a lot of duct tape. Uh, all right, hold on. Uh, no mad. Let's see what we're going to need for these. Uh, oh, only three each. Okay, so we're probably going to need like 12, roughly. All right, that's not too bad. I could do that. That should not be a problem. All right, so what were they called again? <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, armor crafting kits. 12, 20. We'll just do 12 for now. There we go. And I don't have my list. I put my list away. So I don't know what I'm supposed to make. I brought the list back up. Okay, so the first thing will be the Raider Helmet. Raider Helmet. Okay. Oh, we need iron. Okay. Oh, we don't need steel. I didn't think about that. I don't. Do you ever need steel? Maybe when they get into higher tiers? I don't think so. I think it's always iron. Raider Helmet. All right, and that is going to come with increased stun resist, and it is heavy armor. Beautiful. All right, and three, just like I said. Oh, this is going to take forever, and I won't be able... Oh, my goodness. Okay, well, I guess there's no point in waiting. Um, all right, Raider Helmet coming up. Actually, we should probably check to see if we have a Raider Helmet. I, don't, I know we have one. I don't think it's Tier 3, though. Uh, Where is it? Yeah, Tier 1. Okay. Yeah, look at that. Tier 1, 10% stun resist. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Okay, the next thing will be the Nomad um, outfit. Nomad outfit. Okay, and that is going to come with uh, reduces encumbrance. Hell yeah. And it is heavy armor. Okay, Nomad outfit. I'm so worried I'm going to make the wrong thing. Uh, Preacher gloves. Okay, I already have gloves, don't I? But what? Oh, uh, yeah, they're quality one. Okay. Yeah, we definitely got to do better than that. Preacher gloves. All right. Cool, cool. I don't know about that light armor, but. <laughs> and then the boots will be Nomad, but we're going to have to wait a little bit for that. Coming out to Trader Rec to see what he's got. I don't know if he restocked. I think he restocks on day 13. Also, did I leave stuff out here? And eh, not really. A couple things. Nothing big. Um, I do need to buy some steel. Uh, I got a retracting stock mod I want to make. And that is going to take some steel. Like, I just, I need steel. And I don't know how much I'm going to be able to buy. Now that I think about it, probably not a lot. Make it snappy. All right. Take a look. Buy some shit. What do you got, buddy? Uh, well, let's look at everything. Yeah, he's day 13. I've already looked at all this stuff. But, um, steel. Let's see how much we have. 1,000. I'm just going to spend it all on steel. All right. Seven. I mean... A sale is a sale. A sale is a sale, buddy. Even if to a wonderful guy like me. Right? Right? All right, let's go back and see where that gun is. 
Uh, oh, really? Let's grab a quest too. Wait, did I? Do I have a quest? Uh, no, I don't. Yeah, let's go and grab a quest. I'd like to do a quest today. So, hold on, everybody. I'm back. I'm back. All right, what do you got for me? Uh, would like first of all, clears give you more money than uh, the ones where you got to find the, the the supplies. Um, I don't think infestations are worth it if I'm going to be perfectly honest. But since it is closer. All right, let's put our new armor to the test. I, I really don't think these are worth it, but I'm gonna do it just for the, just for the lulls. Gun and armor is all done. Let's go ahead and get this stock mod going. There we go. I also made this um, force grip mod. So let's just grab all this stuff. Let's put that right there. And we will also keep the AK-47 as a backup. And let's see what we could put in this thing. All right, modify. Um, okay. All right. So, you know what? This is what we're going to do. We're going to take that out of that. And we're going to put it in here. And we are also going to put it in this. And I will wait for the other thing. Somebody said something about the scopes not really being good on these guns. I'm not I'm not really sure how that works. Um, but uh, it's got to be better than nothing, right? I would imagine. Okay, let's go ahead and take off all of our armor. And I'm not having a lot of room in in here but that's okay we should have enough i'm gonna put that in the raider armor as well as um customized fit fittings mod that's gonna help with the stamina and the mobility and then we're gonna take uh chest item modify armor and bandolier mod and we're gonna put that in our nomad outfit uh, bandolier for sure i guess it really doesn't matter i'll put that in there why not i don't see why not i don't think it matters for the gloves, we just have a single one of these armor pocket mods. That's that's just sad. And then we could put some armor in there. And where's my other item? My inventory's starting to make my eyes bleed. There's my boots. All right, modify, take that out. And here are the other. Oh shit. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> oh well. What are you going to do? Um, I already had the Nomad outfit. I don't know if I made it or looted it. Oh, I bought it. I bought it from Jen. Ugh, I suck. All right. Now, am I going to only get one piece back if I scrap that? No, yes, that's that's horrible. That's horrible. Did I actually scrap it? I think I did. Wow, that was quick. I was trying to, like, unscrap it. I didn't actually want to scrap it, but I guess it really doesn't matter. There's no reason not to scrap it at that point. Damn, that, that blows. That freaking... All right, well, whatever. You know what? Oh, I put it on. That's why. Yeah, when you when you stop the scrapping, it gets automatically put on. All right, whatever. Let's take a look at our armor really quickly. Um, armor rating zero, which is what I would expect with no armor on. All right, so we've got the Nomad. We've got the Run Speed. What is that anyway? It's uh, Oh, carrying capacity three. I thought it was more than that. All right, that's six. This is Stun Resist 30%. And we went from 10% extra damage to zombies to 30. And it actually does not look too bad. I thought it was going to look really bad, but it's a little mis mismatched. But still, armor rating 71.72. And here we are at the infestation quest marker. Well, pretty much. Bowling alley, huh? I like, ooh, this is a shotgun messiah. Nice. Nice. There's a mod you can get. Um, Whenever you take a quest, you could... Oh, it's not the shotgun messiah. It's next to it. Uh, whenever you take a quest, there's you can see what the quest is, but you have to take the quest first. There's a mod that I'm going to want to get that like shows you what, what the quest is going to take you to before you take it. So, and it's like really, really nice quality of life thing. So I am definitely going to get that. <laughs> I turned colors. That's funny. That's funny. Stop making me laugh, game. All right. I did bring some uh, pipe bombs with me. So we'll see how that goes. And let's do it. Oh boy. This guy's like Dolph Lundgren. He's like, he's like a piece of iron. <laughs> oh, I should have brought coffee. Darn it. I keep, me I keep meaning to make coffee. But to be fair, it's been a busy day. <laughs> I've made a lot of stuff today. Oh, I can't believe I made that stupid chest armor. I didn't need to. I don't know. It's not really that big of a deal. It's like, um... Run speed, undead damage, 
carry capacity and stun resist. It's not really that big of a deal, honestly, but like, it's just, nobody's perfect. Yeah. What are you going to do? Gotta loot some booze. That's what we got to do. That. Uh, that. I really ran out of stamina quick there. Oh, uh, probably because my thirst isn't as high as it needs to be. Oh boy. Damn it. I meant to close the door, not break it. Get up, chump. Sit down. Stay down! Mm. Ugh. I don't like it when it's like you can't get back easily. So I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna have it. Oh, hold on. Oh, I... You know, it's funny. I was like, I'm not gonna need my pickaxe. I never need my pickaxe. I'm not gonna get my pickaxe. Uh, and I put it away. And then, of course, the first thing I want to hit is I, is I need a pickaxe for... Okay. Choke point. Oh. Pretty stupid to be using pipe bombs in here. I don't know why I thought this was a good idea. I should be saving that for Horde Knight. Yeah, you know what? That's a good point, Cage. Save it for Horde Knight, bro. I mean, the thing is, it, here's the thing. We're going to get two kinds of zombies in here. We're going to get zombies that are a problem, and then we're going to get zombies that are not a problem. The zombies that are a problem are going to be moving fast, and you're never going to hit them with a pipe bomb anyway. And the zombies that aren't a problem, you don't need to be wasting pipe bombs on them. So... A lot of booze in this booze store. I love the way the packages go away when you loot them. Look, what did I do with them? Just throw them on the floor, I guess. And yes, more armor. Good. Part of me really hates making armor when it's not like the best armor I can make, but just gotta deal with it. His ass. Got you. Alright. Green jacket is not my me my um my nemesis anymore, by the way. First of all, his jacket's not even really green anymore. But second of all, it's it's the freaking soldiers, dude. I absolutely hate the soldiers. Oh, nobody running? Okay. Alright then. Yeah, these guys are just no joke, dude. Somebody said I scrapped my my club with a with a mod in it. Can you do that? I I didn't think the game would let you scrap clubs or scrap anything with a mod in it. Did I scrap my club with the mod in it, and that's why I don't have the um the barbed wire mod anymore? Yeah, they should change that. You shouldn't be able to. You shouldn't be allowed to scrap anything if it's got something in it. I didn't think you could, but uh, uh, what's going on out here? Ugh. Oh God! <laughs> Speaking of barbed wire, him over here. We got them over there. Take care of his ass first. Doesn't look like there's any ferals. Hopefully, I don't see any eyes. All right, cool. There you go. Fashion skulls. Cool. Where's the dog? Where's the doggo? Dog around here somewhere. And we don't want that. We don't want that. Is there anything else I can get rid of? Um, hold on. Here we go. This takes two seconds. There we go. Beautiful. And what about the rest of the stuff? Uh, the rest of the stuff is looking okay. Cool. Locked. I'm assuming this is locked. Yep. A little too quiet in here. A little too quiet. All right, 
little more quiet now. Okay. Just looking at my just looking for my way out. Okay, one, two, just two. Okay. And they're not ferals. Which is nice. Well, let's go ahead and do some looting then. Break this thing open. What do you got for me? Alright, not bad. Grab this. Guns. It's always annoying that it shows the guns on the wall, but then when you loot it, you don't get the guns. Oh, hold on. That's ar uh, easy. armor rating. Oh, okay, hold on. Hold your horses. Oh, there's the bleed. Okay, so what do I want? Bleed or armor rating? I think I went armor rating. I don't know, this seems like to be the better one. And it looks dope. Okay, let's continue. We're going to have to go out, go out and uh, dump stuff off in a minute. Can I loot this? See, I, this is what I want. I want mannequins like this that we could put armor on at our base. How awesome would that be? Like, I want to, like, have armor. I want to have mannequins at the base and play dress up. What of it? Go ahead. Judge me. <laughs> yeah, y'all know y'all feel the same. Come on. And, uh, and more ammo. And, oh, cool. Seed loot bonus. Not bad. I can make better, though. Uh, you know. I don't have any room for all this anyway. Is there anything I can drop or anything I should drop? Eh, not really. I think I need to go back out and, uh, well, yeah, I'm going to go back out and drop stuff off. Give me that pipe pistol. <laughs> Give me that darn pipe pistol. I'm going to hold off. Well, it does hurt my stamina, so I guess I won't hold off on it. I usually like to hold off on the um, food because um, I like to get hit points back with it. And to be fair, I will be getting a little bit of hit points back, so that's good. Uh... Oh, boy. Look at, all, look at all those red dots. Look at all those red dots. You see them all? All right, that's right. Come at me one at a time. Please do that. These freaking soldiers, man. They are my nemesis. The soldiers are my nemesis. That's it. These guys are tough. And they're all over the freaking place. All right. Come on up here, guys. Come on. One at a time, please. One at a time. No reason to shove. I will get all to you in, uh, you know, in due time. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, see, now this is the part I wish I kept my pipe bombs. <laughs> now he's not even a feral. You know what would be nice? If, we, if when the zombies show up on the, uh, on the compass, the ferals, if they were a different color. How was it? Really? That's it? Wow, that was a really weak ending. No, I didn't get one feral at the end. All right, I'll take it, man. I will take it. Let's take the win. Yeah, it would be pretty nice if it was like, uh, I don't know, like, what are they, red? Maybe a red with a black outline or something if they're a feral? I don't know. I like black and red. What can I say? Oh, that's not one I can loot. Interesting. What the... And the game's really giving me back a lot of those uh, bleed mods. I don't know. I think the armor one is really good. I think it destroys the zombies with armor, which are the problem zombies, especially the soldiers. All right, we could read the book because it doesn't matter. 10% uh, more damage to wolves. Hopefully that never comes in handy. Uh, I think this is going to finish it, by the way. Aiming from the hip with greater accuracy saves your ass in close quarter situations. Yep, there you go. All right, so what am I going to get for that? Uh, each kill boosts your runs. Uh, that's, yeah. No, don't love that one. I want the one where I can, like, bulk craft 762. Oh, the stupid safe's open. Somebody broke into the safe. Did I bring my lockpicks? Yes. Okay. Got that. That's where things broke out of. And we go out that way. All right. I think we're ready for the big loot. Time for the main event. 
Oh, doggy. I can't wait to see what you guys think about armor in the comment section. Just like I said earlier, just be respectful and understand that people like to play in different ways. So if like someone's doing a way you don't like, just be like, well, you know, I like this for that. But, you know, whatever. Yeah, I don't know. Just be respectful, please. Wow, that's pretty garbage, dude. Like a tier four infested, like a really a quality one pistol. Oh, so do you think that would be better than the spikes? Because I want to knock people down. I don't know. Does it stack with the weighted head mod? Not sure. All right. And what do we got here? I didn't use any ammo, by the way. Oh, okay. All right. There you go. 200 rounds of 7.62. And three machine. Okay. Hey, and freaking spike club parts. Maybe I was wrong about these not being worth it. I don't know. I don't know. I tend to jump to conclusions when I've only done like something once or twice. <laughs> so uh, I very well uh, could have been wrong about that. This one, oh, what I can say for sure is this one was definitely worth it. Let's go turn in the quest. So we get for this quest tier four infestation. Holy, you think you're pretty smart right. now. All right. Well, I don't need that, but it would have been nice if I did. Um, the beaker. You know, yeah, I'm gonna go with the I'm gonna go with the beaker. What does the pistol Pete do? Um, yeah, I don't really don't care much about that. All right, the beaker it is. And you have clear zombies. Um, you know what? I'll take one tomorrow because I'm thinking next episode is going to be a horde base building episode. I need. All right, take it easy there, buddy. No freaking heart attack. Um, yeah, I gotta I gotta like beef up the base, and I really don't want to wait until the last minute. So I'm pretty sure that's what I'm going to do next episode. Let's grab a few. Eh. I already have a few of those. Let's grab. I don't even know how many I have. Actually, I probably have enough. Let's grab the relays. That's that's something I do need. And then maybe two more of these. Or one more of these. I don't have any room. Okay. Well, I'm not, I guess that means I shouldn't get any more. Alright, you know what? I am not going to... Um, I'm going to sell some stuff. I'm not going to repair that just to sell it. Uh, I already have a pistol. Um, let's go ahead and repair that. All right. It's thinner than your wallet. Robotics. And that looks pretty good. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking a base building episode is, is, uh, we're, we're about due. We need to get that horde base up to snuff. All right, guys, I am going to call this one here. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.